Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so they can benefit me without cost you anything extra. And as always, all the links will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. And we start this week with the each funding campaign of the Archon Ruins by Alex Gnard Monster Damasceno, a member from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. The Archon Ruins is a system agnostic mini setting. And what it means is that the Archon Ruins are ruins of an ancient and forgotten civilization that can be found beyond the desert mountains. By backing it, you have access to the map of the setting, a dungeon map, some NPCs, artifacts, monsters and all of that, and all with Alex's marvelous art, which I love. So check it out. It's on each funding. I believe it already get, got to the first go, but either way, check it out. Another project that is now funding, this time through Nerves Store, is Crush Death Apparition by Amanda Frank. It is a survival horror standalone adventure zine where the players explore a submarine deep into the North Atlantic. But the submarine is not what it was when they first started the journey. What it means is now the ones, the players inside the submarine, they are two weeks into the voyage and the submarine itself has passages where once there was nothing, some odd noises are happening here and there. And the thing is, will the players be able to work out what is causing all the noises and survive this journey? It is funding through Zine Month and the fulfillment will be done through Nerves Store, as I mentioned, which are already used for, for some other projects because it's the one that Bats use as well. So give a look if it strikes your fancy. Continuing on projects funding, Federal Adventures by Comartin is on Game on Tabletop. Federal Adventures is a diceless game that can be played with or without a gem. In it, you play an anthropomorphic bird going on poop adventures. The final version of the game will be available in French and in English, but you already can take some plain text version of it right now so that you can see that it strikes your fancy or not. In its almost 100 pages, you will find all the rules, different character groups, uh, 16 ready-to-play adventures, and plenty more of content to play these birds. I enjoyed that the character creation involves qu answering some questions, actually, about each one of the characters. So, one of them can be, what do they do when they get angry? Or, who is their best friend outside of the group of players? And so on. And since it is a diceless and can be played jamless game, the players decide if they fail or succeed at a cost. There is no automatic success, but some characters can use some of their abilities then help and turn some part of success into a full-on success. So, for me, it's a very interesting way to play a game. And In the Blue Light by Chris Bissett is now funding on Loot the Room. In the Blue Light is an adventure for Mark Borg, Mark Borg that you mentioned here like plenty of times, and it's kind of funding, as it is in pre-order. However, if they reach the goal of physical zine is ordered, they will be able to increase the quality of it. So, I count it as funding. And the adventure itself is to be played over two or three sessions, where the PCs will go into a three-level dungeon packed with NPCs, maze, weird encounters, and what not. The dungeon lies beneath the barren wastes of Kyrgyz and holds an artifact buried beneath all of this ice. But there are plenty of other things in these icy walls. So the text is finished, you can access freely a plain text version uh, of it to help you decide if it strikes your fancy. So grab the free text and check it out. If it strikes your fancy, go and back it on the room. Now for a bundle that will last until the end of the month, or a bit over it, which is the bundle for Mutual Aid for Lori. Lori is a tabletop RPG creator that is passing through a hardship situation after having to suddenly leave his home and some friends put this bundle together to assist him in this moment. And the bundle has games by 20 different creators. You can get them all for 15 bucks. You have everything from full games to content for existing games. And on top of that, the feeling of helping someone in need. Well, on gems. This one is one very important 
for me and to me, which is the Latam RPG translation jam that started today, the, the day that this video is being released. This jam proposes to translate games to languages spoken in Latin America like Portuguese and Spanish, but not restricted to them, some versions of Criollo and so on, they all are good game for this jam. The rules are explained on the jam page in Spanish, Portuguese and English, and even if you can participate on the jam by translating something, a title or so on, you can still offer or suggest one of your games to be translated, because all the translations, they will be done in tandem and in agreement with the owner of the game and how it will be released to the community. For me, this is another kind of initiative that represents well the idea behind the indie scene of collaboration and trying to make things accessible for more people in different ways. And on posts and threads, uh, an interesting read from Pamu about making it into the TTRPG scene. Uh, Pamu is a creator from RPGC, the Southeast Asia tabletop RPG scene, and this thread lays out a good perspective on what is success and how people perceive it on the tabletop RPG scene and what it costs to have such success. So it's a very good read, a very interesting perspective by Pamu uh, that I really think that you should give a look. But for today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. You can pay me a coffee in coffee. You can buy my games on itch.io. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, if you missed it during the time that we were off, uh, uh, and what you want to see more also. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya.